Hi, Shalom of Rocha. Our parsha is called Parshas Vayechi, Vayechi Yaakov, and Yaakov lived. Which is interesting because if you look in the parsha, it's actually talking about Yaakov's passing. The entire parsha, all its events, is somewhat associated with Yaakov's passing. Why is it then called Vayechi? And Yaakov lived. So the Lubavitch Rebbe's Chusa Yogan Aleinu in Lakut Sikhis, volume 15, explains like this. The true essence of life, and truth in particular, is something which doesn't change, something which is continuous, something which is not interrupted. And therefore, indeed, the true living being is only God Almighty Himself. Vashem, as, as it says in uh, Yirmiya 1010, Vashem Alekim Emes, Hu Alekim Chaim. Hashem Alekim, the God of truth, is the God of life. Truth is something which is not which is not interrupted. If if I may explain, if something is true, why is it here today and not here tomorrow? If something is true, it should be here always. Yeah, makes sense. Interestingly, in halacha, something which is not continuous, it's called untrue. This is found regarding the halacha of para duma. The ashes of a red cow have to be. Mixed with Mayim Chaim, says the Torah in the beginning of Chukas, with living water. What is living water? So it's explained in Masech Tapara, Perek Ches, Mishnah Tes, and an Rambam, Hichas Pora, Perek Vav, Alach Yud Beis, that Naharis HaMachazvin are disqualified. What's Naharis HaMachazvin? Rivers which are untrue. What does that mean? Rivers that dry up once in seven years. Today it's a beautiful river, but years ahead it will dry up Today you cannot use it because it's not called Maim Chaim, truly living water, because in the future it will be, um, once in seven years it will be uh, dried up. Interestingly, our sages say in Yerushalmi Sanhedrin Perek Aleph Halacha Aleph that Chesome Yishal HaKadosh Baruch Hu Emes, the seal of HaKadosh Baruch Hu is truth. The word Emes, true, has the Aleph and the Tuf, the first and last letter, and the Mem, which is somewhere in the middle, which teaches us that truth is throughout. However, us creatures, you and me, we receive our life and existence from the Creator constantly. We're not the truly called Chaim, alive. Besides, interestingly, it says in Ovis de Rabnasen, in the end of chapter 34, that the Jewish people are called Chaim, are called alive. Why? Because as it says in Veschanan 4.4, because the Jewish people cleave to Hashem, therefore we are called alive. For the life of a Jew to be seen in this physical world, it's specifically when there are challenges. When there are challenges, obstacles, and difficulties to Torah mitzvahs. And yet, the Jew holds on to his or her faith and keeping Torah mitzvahs. That shows that the true life of a Jew is Torah mitzvahs. Now back to Yaakov Avinu. Yaakov Avinu is in the Holy Land in Eretz Yisrael. He's in isolation. And he is righteous. The Mishnah says in Ovis, a person should not believe in himself until the day he dies. One can never know what will be in a more difficult situation, in a more challenging situation. When Yaakov ends up in Mitzrayim, in Erva Sa'or, it's the most immoral place in the, on the planet at that time. And yet he stays righteous. Not just he stays righteous to the end of his life, but him Shlema, his children, are all righteous, are all tzaddikim, and even Yisuf at tzaddik, which has been, uh, he went through such difficulties, and for years he has been deeply involved within the business of Mitzrayim, of Erva Sa'oretz, and yet, Emet Betzitke, he stays in his righteousness. Not just that, but his children, Ephraim and Manasseh, who were born in Egypt, are royal Lebracha, are worthy to be blessed by Yaakov Avinu. And not just that, we Jews for eternity, bless our children, Yisimcha Lekim, Kefraim, Chimanasha. 
May Hashem, may God Almighty, make you like, may God Almighty make you like a Friar of Manasha. Such tzaddikim, born in, 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 in Mitzrayim. This reveals that Yaakov's true life is, is the life of Yaakov Avinu, of righteousness, of Dveikus Ba'ashem, of Torah and Mitzvahs. This goes even further. The Gemara says in Tainus 5b, a strange thing. Ya- Rashi brings it down in Chumash. Yaakov Avinu Le'imes. Yaakov didn't die. What do you mean Yaakov didn't die? Mazar Abacham Afu Since his children are alive, so too he is alive. Yaakov Avinu's life is Yiddishkeit, Torah Mitzvahs. When we, the children of Yaakov Avinu, the grandchildren of Yaakov Avinu, continue in his footsteps, in cleaving to Hashem, in seeing that Torah Mitzvah should be Chayenu V'erich Yemenu, this is the continuation of Yaakov Avinu's life in us. There's a very special lesson here. We Jews went through a long... Exile, unfortunately, still not, still not over. Over 1900 years of difficulties, of tsaris, of all types. And even today, we have specific challenges that challenge our spiritual life. Like, for instance, the development of modern technology, especially in the last decade or two. And yet, we stay strong with our faith. We stay strong in Torah mitzvahs. This shows that the true life of a Jew is Thank you for listening. Good Shabbos and all the best.